Hello Kingdomers and welcome to Update 52, 101 Dalmatians. I'm your host and game community manager, Amanda, and I'm coming at you live. I know you've all been very excited and eager to have another live live stream, so I'm super stoked to be able to bring that to you. All right, speaking of being live, I'm sure you all noticed the quiz at the beginning of this stream. Now, if you place the correct answers to all five questions in the comments below, three lucky kingdomers will be eligible to win a legendary chest and 50 gems. The winners will be announced at the end of the stream, so stay tuned for that. And uh, speaking of being in the comments, please, please, please let us know what you want to see for future live stream sweepstakes because we are always eager to hear your thoughts. All right, ooh, ooh, I'm very curious to know. Who caught my hint about 101 Dalmatians during the last stream? It was the spotted eyeshadow. <laughs> All right. Without further ado, I think that we should just jump right into the trailer because our artists have cooked up something amazing. I can't wait to show it off. All right. Are you ready? Let's go. <laughs>
How awesome was that? It's a super exciting update. I know you guys have been so, so, so looking forward to more classic content. So get ready for a Dalmatian reclamation, Kingdomers. When the Twilight Bark calls Pongo back during a trip to the country, he arrives at Regent's Park to find that Perdita and the puppies have gone missing and Cruella's to blame. Now he must gather up his canine family once more, even if it means going back to the DeVille place. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so, what are you waiting for? Let's go and download the update on Tuesday, August the 24th. The event for this begins on August the 26th and runs until September the 22nd. And it is a time-limited event. Awesome. Oh, and please note that some platforms might receive the update at a later time, as you already know, but never fear, because everyone will have a chance to play the time-limited event at the same time. Now, I bet you're super eager to have a little tour of the event hub and take a look at some of the new content that's coming out. So, as this is a hybrid stream, I have whipped together a little video of all of that for you. Here we go. All right, Kingdomers, let's have a look at the 101 Dalmatians event screen. So to access this, as some of you may or may not know, you simply click on this handy dandy little icon that we've set up just for you. And the very first thing that you'll be greeted with is the character screen. So this will feature all of the different characters that you can get this update and their status here will change as you welcome them. Because I welcomed all of them, they all read welcomed. Next up, we have the event goals screen, which is super duper handy if you're curious about what it is that you need to do in order to progress through the event to get to the boss. So just scroll left to right here and it will give you a little idea of what you need to do every step of the way. And of course, here we have the event shop. So as you may know, as you're doing the event, you will earn something called event currency. And that event currency can be used to buy special chests and other goodies right here. Moving on, we have the event leaderboard. And of course, because I'm running a demo version of the game, I don't have a leaderboard to show you right now, but it will appear here. And it will help you determine where you are in the rankings as you play. And last but not least, if you're ever curious or you feel lost during the event, you can simply head on over to this FAQ page and it will give you some handy little tips and tricks. All right, Kingdomers, let's check out the cast of characters that you'll be able to welcome in this update. First, let's welcome Pongo. He's the best Dalmatian dad I know. So cute. Now let's see Penny. She is a premium character and she'll be available inside of a bundle. Oh, here comes Lucky. What a looker. <laughs> And next up, we've got good old Scrappy Patch. He's such a lovable rascal. Ah, the lovely Perdita. She's super elegant. I really like this animation. <laughs> Next up is my very favorite, Rolly. He's also premium and in a bundle, and he's so cute! Last but not least, the ever classy and frequently sassy, Cruella DeVille. All right. Now that we've gone over the event screen, let's have a little look at some of the content that we're featuring. Ooh, the 
these look so good. All right, so first up we have the DeVille Place. And of course the park. You can see Perdita already uh, looking like she wants to go have a walk in the park. Oh, and there's Penny. Penny hanging out by the 101 Dalmatians gold trophy decoration. And over here we have the Radcliffe residence. I just love the music notes coming out the window. I think that's so cute. I wonder what kind of tunes Roger's cooking up. And as we go over here and zoom in a little bit, we have a Dalmatian milkshake stand, which looks delicious. A very cute Dalmatian ears hairband stand and some Dalmatian macarons. Oh, I love macarons. And finally, we have Corella's car. This is a super cool one. I just love it when it's actually in motion. Oh, what have we here? <laughs> a fan wearing uh, one of the Cruella de Vil wigs from Update 50. If you guys have this, this would be an awesome addition to your 101 Dalmatians collection. I can't wait to see what you guys end up doing with all of these decorations. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed that little rundown of the new content, the event, and the attractions and concessions. I'd like to dive a little bit deeper into that now and give you the dates that the event will be happening, uh, in the chapters, that is, and then to go over the helper characters to aid you in your strategy plans. So the first chapter begins on August 26th, as I mentioned. The second chapter begins the very next day on August the 27th. The third chapter is very easy to remember because it rolls out on September 3rd. You got three and three. The fourth chapter starts on September 10th. The fifth is on September the 17th. And again, as I mentioned, the event will end on September the 22nd. And I do see some comments asking if it is time limited. And yes, I would like to confirm it is a time limited event. As for helper characters, we've got the Lion King to look forward to this time. So you can rely on Nala, Simba, Scar, Timon, Pumbaa, Shenzi, Banzai, Ed, Rafiki, and of course Zazu. As for attractions, we have the Circle of Life, the Tree of Life, and the Festival of the Lion King. So keep those in mind. Moving right along to Tapper time, I'd like to take a peek at some of the major milestone and leaderboard tappers that we are going to have this update. The main ones I'd like to mention are the Gem Crab Tappers, which will be running from September the 24th until the 29th. The possible milestone rewards for this one are going to be Moana, Comfy Moana, Resource Chests, and more. Then we have the Dust Devil Tappers, which I really like saying. I love alliteration. <laughs> which will be running from September 30th until October the 4th. The possible milestone rewards for this one will be Jasmine, Comfy Jasmine, Epic Blueprints, and more. Finally, I'd like to go over the three Striking Gold events that we are going to be hosting throughout this update. The first of which will be running from September the 2nd until September the 5th the 2nd, September the 10th, until the 13th, and finally, September the 18th, until the 21st. Now, the possible leaderboard rewards for these three striking gold events are, of course, the 101 Dalmatians Gold Trophy, which you saw in my little content video. I love the way it's designed. Uh, bronze chests, resource chests, concession chests, uncommon chests, rare blueprints, epic blueprints, and more. And for a list of all of the characters and attractions and more tappers that will be coming out, please, please, please check out our patch notes, which will be live this coming Monday, provided all goes well. I've packed them quite full this time, so hopefully I've hit the right notes for you guys based on your feedback. As for new features this update, we don't have any new features rolling out for update 52. However, we are always curious to know how you've been finding the new character book and the new chess shop designs. So now that those have kind of been out for a while, we'd love to hear how they're going for you. 
Of course, we cannot forget to go over balancing changes, of which there are many, and again, definitely look at the patch notes <laughs> for a complete picture. But uh, just to give you a few important highlights, we have made some changes to a couple of concessions that I want to call out. The first of which being the Bear Mug Milkshake Stand, which will include having its rarity changed from rare to epic. The production time in hours has been changed from four to two, and the magic production has been changed to from 38 to 25. As for the iced pastry stand, its rarity has changed from uncommon to common, the production time in hours has changed from 8 to 12, and the magic produced has changed from 53 to 60. So if my Disney Magic Kingdom's wiki folks are watching, I bet that's information you're going to want to know. Hi guys. <laughs> All right, as for gold trophy characters, the Lion King and Toy Story characters will drop gold trophies, as well as the Circle of Life, the Tree of Life, the Festival of the Lion King, and Cruella's car attraction. Moving on to chests, the bronze chest has actually been changed with update 52. So it now only contains magic, common tokens, and a chance of gems. The bronze chest will be available in the chest store every day for free, as well as a reward for watching video ads. Additionally, additionally gelato has been added as a possible reward. Ooh, and the silver chest is making a comeback this update. It will now replace what the bronze chest once was. So it will contain the same rewards as the bronze chest did in update 51 and before. And lastly, I'd like to go over the legendary Lion King chest. The Lion King parade float has been removed as a possible reward. All right, let's check out some viewer questions because I know you guys have been spamming the chat like crazy and I'm excited to take a peek. So what have we here? Oh yes, <laughs> uh, lots of calls for new land. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any information about New Land at this time, but rest assured, as soon as the team lets me know that it's coming down the pipe, you will be the first to know, because I know that your parks are getting smaller by the day, and you just want to be able to fill them with lovely attractions and concessions, so I will keep you posted on that. Oh, Sora Quinn says, one of the chapters opens on my birthday. Kara Carter says, same, mine's the 27th. Well... Happy birthday in advance, you two. That's really exciting. Uh, Janelle Montano says, can you rename the comfy costumes that are possible, please? Yes, yes. So in the Tapper events, we have Comfy Jasmine and Comfy Moana. Just to recap that for you there. Oh, Alicia Agati says, the character book is an A+. Thank you. The team will be very happy to hear that. Also, I've seen some folks saying that they enjoy my hair, and I really appreciate that. This is one of the nicer wigs I've owned. <laughs> very cool. Jasmine DeRyan says, are you guys putting out the Cruella wig stand again? Um, you know, I don't know if we're re-releasing it, but I will double check that and I will get back to you. Oh, and I see a lot of people are having quite a bit of love for the animation and art this time around. Seriously, you guys, the artist knocked it out of the park. Everything looks mwah, stellar. Awesome. Well, I know that there were a ton of questions and shout outs that I wasn't able to get to, but that just gives you all the more reason to tune into the next live stream because I from here on out, we'll be live and answering your questions and comments. All right. So now I think it's time to go over these trivia questions and maybe call out a few winners. So remember, 50 gems and one legendary chest are on the line for three lucky kingdomers. So, question number one. What company played a critical role in the animation of hundreds of spotted dogs? Good old Xerox. Imagine, imagine trying to illustrate all of those spots. Whew, tall order. Question number two. The animators weren't able to make the dogs white, so what color were they really? 
light gray. When you watch the movie back, you can totally see it. It's pretty interesting. Question number three. Which golden era actress is Cruella DeVille's character partially inspired by? None other than Tallulah Bankhead, which is a fantastic name, by the way. <laughs> I wish I was named Tallulah. <laughs> All right, question number four. Helen Stanley acted as the live action reference model for Anita. Which other two Disney characters did she do this for? Cinderella and Princess Aurora, of course. And lastly, question number five. Pongo is ranked as number what on Ultimate Disney's top 25 Disney heroes? Number 24. He just slid in there. <laughs> All right. Let's see who won. Dun, 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 dun. Congratulations to... Matthew LeBlanc, Samantha Baldwin, and Anne Wagner. Anne Wagner, sorry. <laughs> Good job, you guys. You got it right. So I will be reaching out to you afterwards to make sure that you get your prize. Oh, great work. Great work. I really had fun putting these quiz questions together. All right. So to kind of summarize everything that we have discussed, in this update, you can expect to welcome Pongo, Perdita, Patch, Lucky, Penny, Rolly, and of course, Cruella de Vil. Uh, it is a time limited event, just to remind you, and you can download the update on August 24th. Again, the event runs from August 26th until September 22nd, with plenty of little tappers in between. Be sure to check out those patch notes. Um, characters and attractions from The Lion King will be your trusty helpers as well, just as a reminder there. And with that, I think it is time to wind down my very first live stream. <laughs> so uh, be sure to tune in the next time because we will be welcoming some very unique characters and attractions. This is going to be an interesting update coming up, let me tell you. So stay tuned for that. And as always, we invite you to discover more about what it is that we are doing here at Disney Magic Kingdoms by following us on our socials. Don't ghost us, Kingdomers. We want to keep you in the loop. All right. And with that, I am going to be signing off. But it was a pleasure hosting this for all of you. And I cannot wait to go back into the comments and continue responding after this is through. So have a very magical weekend and keep smiling, you guys.